are like family, which makes our top story at six so horrendous. These three dogs dead after being left in a sweltering hot shed, their bodies then thrown away like garbage. Even more shocking, the owner is a Rockdale County deputy and a canine handler. Despite an internal investigation recommending he face animal cruelty charges, none were filed. CBS 46 investigative reporter Rachel Polanski broke this story last week. Tonight, she uncovers why the deputy was not charged and why he's still on the job. You are watching police body cam video. It's Investigator Jones on the outside. If you can come out and meet as one please. Rockdale County Sheriff's deputy. Oh, questions another. Um, you have two, three dogs that passed away? Yes, I do. Okay, where are those dogs? Uh, I didn't have a way to bury them, so I tried. You, you did what with them? They're in the trash. That's right. The dogs were in the trash. And over the next few hours, investigators would search Deputy Eric Tolbert's property, <laughs> taking custody of his county issued police dog, who he left in a cage in his backyard. Hey, Ages. <gasps> hey, buddy. And looking inside his uninsulated shed, Hold your breath before you go to the shed, where they'd find a small portable air conditioner. But there is no power to this building. And these dirty crates. God almighty, it stinks. Lined with mold and feces. The same crates where his three American bulldogs died just days earlier. We're just concerned about it and checking on if they had the proper care and everything they needed and try to figure out why they might have passed away. Investigator Colleen Jones was assigned the case after Deputy Tolbert made this Facebook post, announcing the death of his dogs and making a remark that the heat was no joke. That wasn't in the right head space. In a recorded interview a few weeks later, Deputy Tolbert admits that after his first dog died, he put a small portable air conditioner in the shed. However, the internal investigation later determined that the unit was, quote, not sufficient for such a large enclosure. And within a day, it failed, and the other two dogs died. Getting back to the air conditioner, did, did you read a manual? Did you did at all? I read it enough as far as to assemble it. Okay. And get it right. So you didn't read the part that, uh, that possibly said something to the effect that not to use it as a... Not air conditioning. At this point, investigator Jones thought she had enough evidence to bring charges, but Rockdale County Judge Nancy Bills disagreed, refusing to sign an arrest warrant. And this, according to case notes, because she felt the sheriff's office should have turned the case over to the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, calling it a quote, conflict of interest for deputies to work a case against one of their own. It's a decision the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office is standing by. Why didn't your office? turn this over to GBI in the first place? We do have the ability to investigate our cases um, as well. We do not have to turn it over to the GBI. We have a criminal investigations division. Deputy Tolbert, can we talk to you? Can we talk to you? CBS 46 investigates stopped by Deputy Tolbert's house twice. We just want to talk with you about your American Bulldog. The second time, he was backing out of his driveway. My agency, they've done an investigation and they deemed that I was fit to return back to duty. He initially said that he did not want to talk with us, but continued answering our questions for another 10 minutes. There was no ill intent behind it or anything trying to harm my animals. Those were my animals. I loved all of them. Shouldn't you have known better as a canine handler, you know, not to keep American Bulldogs in an uninsulated shed? Well, like I said, the shed was getting cool, so I figured it was okay. And it, since I've had them, it had never gotten that hot before. Again, it was a June day in, in Georgia. Shouldn't you know right, better? Right. Like I said, the, since I've had them, it had never gotten that high. After the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office closed the case, Deputy Talbert received a four-day suspension and was moved from the canine unit to the patrol division. But he avoided criminal charges. We see chewed up plastic. Something that animal law expert Claudine Wilkins, who was cited in the investigation, does not understand. It's very similar to putting a, a dog in a hot car. I mean, it's... The, this, the temperature heats up quickly and to then leave them there and go off to work for hours upon hours is absolutely irresponsible and reckless. In your opinion, is there enough evidence here to bring state animal cruelty charges? Absolutely. Heat exhaustion is failure to provide shelter. At a bare bones minimum, this seems to me as a misdemeanor case in Georgia under our state law. The penalty for an animal cruelty misdemeanor in Georgia is up to one year in jail and a fine. And failing to provide an animal with sanitary conditions or ventilation and improperly disposing of animals does violate state law. I also asked the sheriff's office about that. 
Investigator Jones recommended misdemeanor animal cruelty charges. The disciplinary action he got was four days suspension and being reassigned. Okay. Do you feel the punishment fits the crime? With the investigation that was conducted, the disciplinary actions that were rendered is what we found as if being um, fitting for that particular investigation. All right, so what are the big takeaways here? Well, three dogs are dead. No charges have been filed against canine handler Eric Talbert, who is still a deputy at the Rockdale County Sheriff's Office, though he's been reassigned. As for the Sheriff's Office, they have begun changing protocol about police dogs, now directing canine handlers to bring police dogs indoors if temperatures are more than 90 degrees or below 40 degrees. Rachel Polanski, CBS 46 News.